Hey YouTubers, I just got home from work and I just wanted to share something quickly. Um, I'm all grody, but uh, <laughs> uh, you guys obviously don't watch me for my charm anyway. <laughs> but I was just, just wanted to harp, I know I harp on this a lot, but uh, basically I wanted to just uh, give a fine, an additional little reminder that uh, sprouting seeds is an excellent uh, way of... Uh, having some fresh uh, things, you know, things that you would normally buy in the produce section of your market um, in a shit hit the fan situation. Now check out how many, uh, I just pulled these out of my sprouting area. I actually use my oven because I don't cook with it very often. But check out how much um, alfalfa sprouts we've got here. And uh, all I use is just four little um, contain four little tablespoons of uh, seeds. Then I soak them for uh, for about eight hours. That is the seeds, and you can see the difference. <laughs> soak them for about eight hours, and then. Uh, throw them in a sprouting jar like this uh, with a little stainless steel mesh and then uh, have it set up so that it constantly drains. I, uh, I use a, a plastic container put it down in there and uh, that it's at an angle because if they rest if they if the seed rests in water like half submerged then some kind of weird yellow fungus sort of uh, takes over and it uh, really becomes unappetizing and probably not very good for you. But I just wanted to, uh, and, and bus, these things are just loaded with nutrition and um, and even though it's not in the corporate media, it uh, has a, what they call a nitrilicide compound and it's supposed to be a strong anti-cancer agent. Um, there's some uh, if, if you guys want to go farther into that, go ahead and look at A World Without Cancer. And pretty, uh, it's on YouTube. Periodically you get uh, drones and uh, corporate media and, uh, and people who are probably shills <laughs> going in there and, and uh, you know, basically talking down about it and uh, saying it's like voodoo science or something. But uh, I'm fairly convinced. Um, and of course, there's going to be no uh, trials to uh, t test the veracity of the uh, the claims. So, because the uh, big uh, corporate uh, pharma <laughs> big pharma does not want that to be uh, proven uh, uh, useful against cancer, because then you won't spend like ten thousand dollars a month for their cancer medication. <laughs> it's the same reason why the um, the medical, uh, basically the big pharma pays that one blue guy uh, to fly between medical uh, medical conventions saying that uh, <laughs> that colloidal silver turned him blue. <laughs> um, then, it, then the guy even ran for governor even though he was grossly unqualified for the position. And... Uh, just happened just so that he could get on TV and then the reporters would, were saying, by the way, why are you blue? Oh, colloidal silver did this to me. <laughs> I wonder how much money he got for that. Uh, call me cynical, but uh, the system no longer serves us, the people. So therefore, uh, the studies will that are funded will not are funded for profit. They are not funded for safety or for us. So uh, we have to go outside the system to determine what works and what doesn't. So the nitrilicide compound may or may not uh, be useful, but it probably, I suspect it is. But regardless, look at all of that uh, volume of food, and it's very nutritious, has all kinds of good stuff in it, even besides those. And if you're in a situation where you have nothing, uh, you could... Uh, open up your number 10 cans, pull out some of these, like one a day, and every day you would, about four days later, you would have a big container of, uh, of uh, alfalfa sprouts to add to your diet. 
it would prevent all kinds of nasty things, possibly even scurvy. So, I just thought I would uh, cover this again. I mean, I pulled it out of the oven a minute ago because it's ready for harvest. And I just thought I'd share it because uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty darn cool thing to have going. And, yeah, I bought the alfalfa seeds just because I'm a prepper and just in case the grocery store showed, shut down. But, man, every time you turn around, you hear on the news about people dying and getting, and getting E. coli from the sprouts they buy in the grocery store. Man, I'm not buying that garbage. <laughs> um, and plus, when you buy those sprouts in the store, they um, they go... If, if they're not bad already, they go bad within a couple days. But these sprouts, I can keep those in the refrigerator for 11 days and they still taste good. So, I suspect that the sprouts we see in the store are from a very, very long supply line, possibly sprouted in friggin' Bolivia or something. <laughs> so basically, uh, if you are, if you don't have sprouts, or if you don't sprout yet, I would skip the trays, the sprouting trays, they're garbage. The seeds, they end up sitting in the water and then they dry and then they basically rot. Then you get that weird like, yellow fungus rot or whatever it is. But these sprout, these sprouting jars, that's the way to go. I haven't had any go bad on me in the jars. Now in the winter time right now, especially because I don't heat my condo out here in, you know, out here, I just heat the master bedroom. I use like a radiant uh, dish heater pointed right at me and turn it way down and uh, takes care of the job. <laughs> but uh, so basically they don't grow as fast as they do in the summer. I mean, in the summer, three days you get that uh, a volume that big. Um, but in the winter time, like the temperature out here is like 60 degrees or something. Um, and basically those things will, uh, they'll be ready in about six days. So that's not a problem. And if you wanted more sprouts, just get more jars. That reminds me, I am going to order a few more of these things because I wouldn't be able to get them in a shit hit the fan situation. So I'm going to get them now. I think I'll stock up on a little bit more sprouting seeds as well. So that's pretty much it. So uh, remember, keep saving your money. You're going to need it. <laughs> Save every penny you can because it's going to get ugly. I am really grateful that the... Uh, that the feds decided to bail out all the banks and put off this uh, this disaster for a while. <laughs> not that I have a choice and not that they did it for me. But um, uh, basically it's given me some time to get ready. Um, then they'll have the massive problem, then they'll offer us their solution, whatever that is. But it's given me a chance to get debt free, save up a ton of money and get get my feet up under me and get ready to buy myself a uh, couple acres and a house. So, I guess I've babbled on enough. So, uh, remember, start sprouting later. <laughs>